Hey guys, this week let's talk about how you get better, how coaching can make you better. Hey guys, Randy Gage here. I want to welcome you to another episode of Prosperity TV. And this episode, I want to talk about coaching. Because uh, a lot of you know I've been coaching a uh, new uh, D division softball team uh, and really proud of the results they're getting and the improvement they're making. One of the things I do, I like to do a lesson of the day, which we have a group chat and I send out every day. Uh, and I wrote something today about how to work with a coach, how to get the most out of a coach. And I thought, you know what, this would make a great episode for Prosperity TV. So I want to share it with you guys. Because the amazing coaches are the ones that make you better. It's not about their coaching, it's about you. It's about how they unleash, how they unlock, how they... Uh, tap into the skills, the talents, the abilities that you have that sometimes you're not even aware of, sometimes the coach is going to see before you. Uh, so let's talk about your role in that because this could be a coach in the sporting sense or it could be in the business world or the financial world, or the professional world. It would show up as a mentor-mentee relationship. So when you're being coached by someone or you're a mentee to a mentor, you have to take responsibility for your results. You have to bring some things to the equation for that coach to really be able to help you in the best possible way. So I've got seven things I wanna talk about that, that make a difference for that in terms of you working with a coach that you need to be responsible, that you need to do, so that that coach or mentor or guide can get the best out of you, can help you be the best person that you're capable of, be of becoming, the best performer, the best athlete, the best student. Uh, so the first one is be coachable. Sounds simple enough, but let me tell you, I'm amazed how many people ask for advice, for coaching, for guidance, and then they don't take it. So don't waste anybody's time. If you ask for a coach, you gotta be coachable. Number two, prepare for your time together. You're gonna meet somebody for lunch, you better go there prepared, do your homework, find out about their work, what do they do, how do they help people, how might they be able to help you, what are the insights they have that you could benefit from. You need to go in there with a game plan. Uh, no different than uh, my softball team. When I show up and everybody's loitering around and nobody's stretched, nobody's thrown, nobody got warm up, it's like insulting, right? Because prepare for that time together. When I show up, you should be all warmed up, ready to go, looking for, hey, give me some drills, give me some mechanics, give me some coaching on how I can get better. Uh, so prepare for your time together. The third thing is ask great questions. The great coaches, they don't want you to pander to them. You, they don't want you to tell you them how amazing they are. They want you to be inquisitive, for you to be curious, for you to ask questions that allow them to make you better. All right, so think about that. Uh, number four, huge one, honor the coaching by applying it. I've had people, you know, they heard the Jim Rohn thing, take a millionaire to lunch or whatever, and you know, or they're in one of the professional associations I'm in and they're beginning and so they ask for my help. So I agree to meet them for coffee or I meet them for lunch or I'm helping them with email or something. Uh, and then there are certain people you realize, well, you know what, they don't ever apply this stuff. They just, they keep wanting another coffee, another lunch, another session, but they're not really applying it because they think by being uh, in the program or meeting you every time for lunch makes it seem like they're actually doing anything, but they're not really applying it. So honor your coach by honoring the coaching and putting it into practice. 
Number five, be accountable for what you've learned. So they give you knowledge, you learn something, you're about applying to be responsible, be accountable for that knowledge. So when they teach you something, you apply it in ways that honor the profession or honor the game or respect the game, um, which would be the number six is, uh, you know, I'm telling my team always, respect the game. Uh, in business, it would be respect the profession, right? So you don't want to do anything. So if your coach teaches you, gives you insights, helps you develop skills, talents, abilities, don't use them in ways that would dishonor the game or dishonor the, res the profession. Be accountable for it and respect the game. And number seven, I told my team is have fun and celebrate the game. Uh, in, in business context, it'd be have fun or be passionate about it. Go out and attack it with passion. Uh, not as, okay, I learned how to do this. Let me figure out how to put it into play. No, honor your coach by going out there and being deliberate, but deliberate with passion, with intensity, with urgency, with joy, with happiness. Um, so that's the greatest gift you can ever give a coach is that they see you are passionate about taking their knowledge and applying it. So anyway, here's the other thing for you. A lot of you follow me on social media. So, you know, I've just brought back my breakthrough you coaching program and you could be a part of that. You could have me as your personal coach in a very uh, uh, productive way with monthly webcasts and annual events and my private email for coaching and a private Facebook group and I've created some really, a really, because of the internet and social media and new technologies, I've found a way to make that work. So if you're interested in that, go to Breakthrough You, the letter U, dot com. Look at the program. I have two different tracks. I have a track for influencers. You political leaders, you authors, consultants, speakers, coaches, uh, bloggers, YouTubers, just people, you know, run a nonprofit, uh, leading a cause. You want to make a difference in the world, dent the universe. There's a track for that. And then I've done another track just for you guys, specific business building stuff for you guys in direct selling, network marketing, party plan types of companies. If you're leading a sales team and you want to build a large team, there's a track for that. Um, so check it out, see what you think, and uh, maybe we can work together because uh, I'm really excited about that program and what I think it could do for you. And I'm actually going to take these uh, seven points I shared with you and we're going to kind of make that the agreement. If you join and you get accepted in the program, you will bring these seven points to the table. You will do your part and I'll do my part and then we're going to live happily ever after. All right, go out there and have an amazing week. Peace, love you guys and live rich. Hey, hope you tell everybody you know about Prosperity TV. I'll be back uh, with a new show next Monday. Oh, I didn't tell you uh, uh, my location. I did this, obviously you can see nothing behind me. I'm back on my little island between Miami and Miami Beach. Uh, and I'll talk to you from who knows where next Monday.